Welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today, I want to get into water filtration. A good water filter should be one of the first preps you get. Literally, like number one. All the fancy radio equipment, night vision, and weaponry is great to have, but what you eat or drink can kill you way before anything else in SHTF. So depending on where you live and how clean the water is to begin around you is going to determine what kind of water filter you need. So let's get into some of the water filters I have and some examples and kind of the way they work and what I like about some and what I don't like about others. Okay, so let's go over some examples of some water filters I recommend for SHTF. Uh, the first one is going to be your Berkey. If you were going to start with any filter, I would get a Berkey water filter. Um, these are going to offer you the most protection against viruses, pharmaceuticals, microplastics, mm -hmm. everything. I can actually screenshot the back of this box. Um, this filter is probably the most comprehensive. And I also want to mention... Um, these are really similar to the Alexa Pure. Um, the Berkey and the Alexa, Alexa Pure from my Patriot Supply are going to be super similar. There's not going to be much differences between them. But this is one of the filters, and this is goes the whole way up to viruses, and that's a big concern um, with some people in the in the water that they want to filter. The way these work is, I have one filter in there just to show but you fill this with water and one of the holes is not plugged so just ignore that but you would fill this with water the water would go through here and it would drip out of the bottom of your filter into the base and this would fill with water and you have a spigot and this you can run any water you want through it and it's going to make it drinkable and safe for you to drink one thing that you have to keep in mind with these bigger <coughs> filters and this is specific to Berkey. You need a primer kit. I will link one below, but there is a protocol for when you get the black Berkey filters that you have to prime them. I'm mentioning this because if the water were to go out along with the power grid, you wouldn't be able to use water pressure to prime the filter. Having a pump primer to start your filters in an emergency is going to be just as important as having a Berkey filter. If you can't start it, you can't use it. The Berkey filter, the black Berkey filters are my preferred filter. They offer the same protection as the ceramic. Berkey really does not like to give out micron readings, but they do post all of their lab results on their website that you can look at. The Berkey filters for each set of black Berkey filters, it says it's up to 6,000 gallons of water. So that's 3,000 uh, gallons of water per filter. The ceramic is 1,000 gallons per filter. Let's move on to some mobile water filtration. I'm going to start with two that I don't really like, but are really popular, so I'm going to cover them. The first one is going to be the Sawyer. These are extremely popular, and I don't really like them that much. Um, they do not offer virus protection, which is not a big deal. That's not a problem. If you're drinking out of fresh water sources, like lakes and streams and moving water, I don't worry about so much of virus protection. Now, one note I want to make, and this is just my opinion. If I was living close to a city or close to very urban environments, I would go out of my way and make sure that even my mobile filter could filter down to viruses. I will link below a filter that I recommend for filtering viruses, and I'll put that in the description and I'll label it. But for most people, if you're just filtering regular water from rain barrels or streams, um, the Life Straw, the Sawyer, and the Katadin are going to be perfectly fine for most people. Again, if you are living really close to the city, 
I would spend the extra money and make sure I got a virus rated filter also. So let's go back to this. This is why I do not like the Sawyer filter. I do not like the way it hooks up to these cheap flimsy bags that you fill with water and you would drink through the end of this. This is the flow rate out. And this is just a clunky, junky system to me. Nothing against the filter. The filter is going to do just fine. Um, but when I'm out and about and I want to pump a lot of water for a lot of people, both the Life Straw and the Sawyer filter, in my opinion, kind of suck. And this is where the Cadenin comes in. And this is why this is my favorite style filter, is a pump filter. And it's not so much that I'm into the brand, but more this style of filter. Um, when we are out and about and we are in some sort of emergency and we need clean water, and let's say that maybe we've even left our homes or bugged out or we are now on the move, um, I want to be able to take the filter and pump water into any container I want. And this is a little bit about how this works. This is the end and this is the pre-filter that goes into the water and it would just hook up to the in slot on this. So this is the way that the Catadin would be set up. So I could take this and set it into water and take this tube and put it into larger containers like two quart canteens and pump clean water into them. This is the biggest drawback to these very popular filters you see all the time um, on Amazon and stuff is I am stuck drinking out of this dumb tube or this clunky bag. I want to be able to fill containers and take them with me rather than be bent down drinking out of this or carrying this bag around. And this, this is a big problem that I see with this. And it would probably be okay for a little while, but I worry about this bag ripping. And I know that these can screw onto um, water bottles, but it really depends. It doesn't screw onto all water bottles. So just something to notice is just a little bit of a, uh, of a clunkier system. I don't really like it that much. The pump filter offers the same filtration as the Sawyer or the Life Straw, but in a more convenient way to pump water. This is the filter that goes into the Cadadin, and these are the spares. I, I think the filters can be had for about 40 or 50 bucks spare. Um, I will post how much they filter per filter up on the screen here. Um, it's enough. It's a lot. It'll give you a lot of drinking water. And these can be rinsed off and cleaned. And the Sawyers, you have to, uh, like, back flush and stuff. And not it's just not my favorite. That's all. There is one filter on here that I did not cover just because I don't have it. And that's, like, the Grills uh, press uh, filters. It's almost like a French press, like, for coffee. But it's, like, a water filter. Again, for the same reason I don't like the Sawyer filter or the Life Straw is the same thing with that. I can only filter, you know, however big the bottle is. I, I can only put that much. I guess you could press it and dump it into other containers. Um, it just seems like a pain to me. Those aren't my favorite either. Not that they're a bad product, just not my preference. My final thoughts on this is you definitely need a home water filter like a Berkey or an Alexa Pure, or if there's another brand that you really like that's not either one of those that offers the same capability as the Berkey or Alexa Pure, go ahead and get that. Definitely have an in-home one. Um, depending on where you live, I would definitely get a Katadin or one of those MSR filters if you live closer to the city. One thing I want to mention is if you are worried about viruses and you have a normal or one of the general purpose water filters like the Katadin, the Sawyer, or the Life Straw, is you can, well, not so much with the Life Straw and stuff, but if you have the Katadin or a pump filter that mostly just gets the bacteria and stuff out, you can pump it into things and boil that water if you are concerned about viruses also. A lot of people are going to probably comment this, that you can make a water filter. And 
This is possible. I've seen many videos. If you want to look at some, they're all over the internet of people taking five gallon buckets and packing sand, rock, and charcoal. Not specifically in that order, but like charcoal, sand, rock, and, and they make the that gravity filter. I do not think they offer the same protection as actually buying a water filter uh, from the, the fiberglass micro filter or the ceramic filters or the black Berkey filters. Um, you're just not gonna get the same level of protection with that. And it's fine. If you wanna do that route, just run it through that filter and then boil it. Um, that would be my advice if you're gonna do that. I would never feel quite safe making a filter like that, running water through it and then drinking right out of it. And as far as the mobile filters go, um, it's really gonna be hard to make a mobile filter that's homemade. I'm sure somebody's gonna be out there doing it, um, but for the price of like the Cadenin or something for 70 bucks or $65, um, I would just pick it up. I, I think they're 100% worth it. There is one other thing I wanna mention before I close this video out, and that is the Brita filters and like the uh, filters you put in your fridge that give you better tasting uh, drinking water. And I'm only bringing this up because I've seen it in forms and in questions um, on Reddit, forms, all kinds of stuff. I, I've seen people mention this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be saying it because some people might think it's stupid, but it will not filter out. The Brita filters and those fridge filters will not filter out anything important like bacteria, cysts, um, and stuff that's going to make you sick out of water that you would get out of rain barrels, the river, or ponds. You need a real filter for that, like a real emergency filter, like a Cadillac, an MSR, or a Berkey, or an Alexa Pure. Those filters will not help you at all. This is John with Citizen Survival Plan. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.